Hi everyone! So today we're going to go over horse colors, or at least some of the more popular ones. The first color we're going to talk about is gray, which is characterized by white or gray hairs and black skin. Even if a horse appears white, like Montana here, the horse is considered gray unless their skin is pink. If we look at Montana's nose here, you can see a little bit of pink on the end of her nose, but the majority of her skin is gray, and if you hosed her off, you'd be able to see that even clearer. So this is Frosty, who's also a gray, and you can clearly see the gray skin on his nose here, but he's a different variation of gray called a flea-bitten gray. So this is when we have little red dots intermixed with his white hairs, which you can see everywhere from his haunches to the rest of his body, and his neck, and even on his face here. An interesting fact about gray horses is that they aren't born that color. A horse may be born chestnut, black, or even palomino, but if its genetic makeup has a dominant gray gene, the coat will change over the years, turning dark gray when the horse is 6 to 12 months old, and then more of a white by as young as the age of 6. The next color we're going to go over is called bay which is categorized by a brown body with black lower limbs and a black mane and tail. While bay is one of the most common coat colors in the horse world, there are many different variations. These horses can range in color from a light copper red to a brown so dark that it almost looks black. Around the barn at Ride-On, you'll commonly hear us refer to a horse like Gunner here as a bay, whereas a horse here like Leon we would refer to as a dark bay. You can see that while Leon has a black mane and tail and lower limbs like Gunner does, his coat color is a darker variation of brown. So here we can see them right next to each other and you can really see the difference between the two. The next most common coat color we're going to go over is called chestnut. Chestnut horses are distinguished by a reddish brown body while their mane and tail are either the same color or slightly lighter in some cases. While just chestnut would be an appropriate description of Don Giovanni here, chestnuts can vary in shades just like bays, including basic chestnut, sorrel, liver, dark chestnut, or even flaxen chestnut. Going back to this clip here, we have a variation of chestnuts led by a dark bay in the front. A less common but very attractive coat color we see sometimes is called roan. Roans are categorized by an even mixture of colored and white hairs on their body, while their head and points, or lower legs, mane and tail, are mostly solid colored. Rex here is called a red roan, which means that he has a chestnut or sorrel base coat intermixed with white hairs throughout his body. Other variations of roans include bay roans and blue roans. Hey everyone, I'm Reagan, and Toro and I are here today to talk with you about different breeds and different colorings on horses. So why do horses like him get whiter as they get older? They get whiter because their hair follicles stop producing melanin, which is responsible for producing color in their coats. So maybe one day this guy will be all white. And you can see that he's a quarter horse by his thick neck and his thick, strong chest. This is Chevelle. Chevelle is an American paint horse, which back in the day was a cross between thoroughbred and quarter horse bloodlines. But today, American paint horse is their own breed. As you can see, Chevelle is a combination of black and white, and she has a few distinctive markings on her legs and on her forehead. So this is Wallace. Wallace is a Frisian saddlebred cross. So you can see the Frisian in him, most notably in his beautiful mane and forelock and tail. And you can see the saddlebred in him because of his long, high-rising neck, little big side buddy, and his long, skinny legs. So his coloring is not paint, it's actually called pinto, because if a horse is not an American paint horse, but they have the coloring of white with brown, black, palomino, whatever, then it's called pinto. What I really enjoy about Wallace's particular markings is that he has this white patch that shows up in the middle of his mane, and on the other side of the hair is a white spot on him.
While there are of course many other horse coat colors that we may talk about in a later video, these are the most common ones that you'll see around the barn here at Ride On. Thanks for watching!